Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is KDK Keodaiken, and in today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little brief gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite while my Kronos Zen is plugged in using the Zen Studio. Now, you don't have to have this plugged in in order for it to work. I just wanted to simply give you guys my overall impressions of the software and the button configuration time and response time using the Kronos Zen. Um, I think probably Marvel vs. Capcom, Dragon Ball Z, and several of the other fighting games, uh, obviously the Street Fighter series, are very appropriate games to measure button response time as far as milliseconds. Um, as you guys know, if you guys play a game like Halo, Modern Warfare, and things like that, uh, there really isn't a lot of fast response time when playing a game like that, um, unless you're really just shooting somebody and they're right there in front of you. I'll get all to, I'll get into that in another video. But when you're playing fighting games and you're doing combos, a lot of those combos and actually the most of them require split, split second timing in order to pull it off. So I just want to see in this video. How does the Chrono Zen handle something like that with all the buttons going in, with all the combos, buttons you can press to get out in a split second timing? So let's go ahead and check that out in this video today. Just waiting to select my character. I've seen this guy quite some time. I don't think he's really going to play. He normally uses Captain America and Incredible Hulk. Now this game isn't played too much in the fighting game community anymore because of all the glitches and bugs that they were never able to really work out. It's really a shame. This is a, it's a great game as far as a great series. You know, dating back to Marvel vs. Capcom and X-Men vs. Street Fighter and so forth. But there's definitely a lot of combos in this game that really just make you want to shake your head. Yeah, I think this guy is just going to use the default characters. He's seen me before, so he's just going to quit out. Now, my response time on the buttons are pretty much instant. I'm not seeing a delay. Only one team will be left standing. No lag there. Yeah, there's no lag delay. We'll see what happens when I'm really pressing the buttons. This is definitely what you would consider a button mashing game. But I will tell you, I was playing this last night and I didn't have any problems. Ready. Fight. Get out of this and keep pressing up. Uh, reality stone 
It's just a mess. I know they had to dumb it down right For after the initial launch of this game. Justice. Too many people I complained will about fight. it. They had to nerf it. So I'm definitely not noticing any lag or response in any of my response times. Everything seems to be fine. Ready. Fight. Combination. So far, I'm not noticing any lag. Everything seems to be operating as normal. No delays. Yeah, he didn't have a chance there. Gamora is too fast for Hawkeye. He's always a distance player. Eliminating so my overall feeling my is job. there are no delays in this. Everything's perfectly fine. I know last night I had to adjust the uh, CPU loader there at the top. Just play around with that setting. But um, for the most part, everything running perfectly good. There's no complaints playing a fast-paced game with the Kronos Zen. Um, I do want to show you guys one more thing before I log off. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And um, I actually um, didn't read the manual on this at all. But one of the things you guys can do, as you guys see, I do have an additional script here loaded that, that I don't need. Uh, so what we're going to do is just drag this over here to the delete button, and that removes it from the Chromos. So again, guys, hope you guys have a good night and enjoyed the video. And this is Kiel Dyke, and I will catch you guys later. Really hope you enjoyed the gameplay.